The beach has definitely shaped the person that I've become. I definitely was one of the first females to be sponsored and make a living off of professional surfing in Canada. I think growing up here at Sombrio played a big part in that. I spent my first 13 years growing up here on Sombrio Beach on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Pretty much as soon as I was old enough to stand and walk, I was probably playing in the ocean. I had 10 siblings when I grew up here. My older brothers and sisters were always kind of surfing as long as I can remember. They were always pushing me to go for bigger, better waves. So we spent a lot of time on the water, the whole family pretty much. Like my mother obviously not because she was too busy making babies, but... <laughs> In the 80s and 90s, there was a community probably between 30 and 40 cabins down here. I definitely think you could call the community squatters because we were all living on somebody else's land, not really knowing if we would have to leave or when we would have to leave. And then that day came. Somewhere around 1997, the land was turned into a provincial park. It was just like really traumatic, I think, for a lot of people, because there was a lot of people who've lived here for a long time, and then all of a sudden they have to leave. It was pretty obvious at that point, this special place that we had here was kind of ending. And then losing my siblings right after that was super hard. Our family moved off a beach where nobody ever drove, and everybody started driving. My three oldest siblings passed away within like six months. It wasn't like my family was slowly eased into driving either, and they were all motor vehicle accidents. The year after that, my dad passed away from cancer too. I don't really know how I lived through those years, to be honest with you. Continuing surfing after I moved away from here was just something that I knew that brought me a lot of happiness, which was kind of hard to find. My siblings that had passed away, they kind of just like showed me to go for your dreams. I've definitely used what they taught me to my advantage. I'm most proud of just inspiring young girls to surf. When I started surfing, it was basically a few other girl surfers, and now there's thousands of girls who surf. I definitely have a strong connection with the ocean and I know like my siblings that have passed away did as well, so the water will always feel like my home.